go, Dad. Whee! Are you ready, buddy? Come here, big boy. Ah! that you're watching right now and realize that you know I probably need to do something that I normally do not do which is sit down and talk to you all and kind of help you all through the video I've got a lot of video shots of this right here it's it's why you clicked on the video I'm sure unless you're a subscriber and a follower uh, you are wanting to know a little bit more, maybe even our opinion, about the Zion Crane M2 gimbal. Now, let me just say real quickly, uh, I love this new purchase. In fact, it's my favorite technological purchase of 2019, and it's November. So, right? November? Yep, November the 1st. Okay, I've got a lot of footage. If you're looking for the technical specs and the rundown and the how-to and how to set it up and all of the different modes, that is not in this video so I just want to tell you right now you can obviously find another video however if you're looking for footage with a mid-grade camera in conjunction with this thing you've clicked on the right video in this video you're gonna see Crane M2 paired with the Sony Alpha 5100 in fact that's what we're videoing right now with my Sony has uh, given up the ghost unfortunately so I gotta get a new camera so I'm actually filming Right now, with my wife's camera, the Sony A5100, I love the camera. It's got a flip-up screen. It's got an APS-C size sensor. It's a great camera, and it's great for my wife. She has used it and loved it. One of the things that nobody's real good at is walking and holding a camera while they're vlogging or driving down the road and trying to shoot that, you know, the picture of what you're getting as you're driving down the road or riding down the road in the passenger seat. You know, it's just so hard. It's all shaky and bumpy. In comes the Crane M2 into the conversation. Ladies and gentlemen, I have got to tell you, this right here is your golden ticket to smooth, smooth shots. I'm telling you, this thing is un unbelievable. I hope you like what you're going to see. Now, we're going to jump right into when we brought this gimbal home and we paired it with the Sony A5100. You're going to see that footage. So let's roll the clip. I'm back. We had already planned to do a chicken on the grill and I had the gimbal and I had the camera so I said well I'll just vlog this part. I have a wonderful wood pellet Traeger grill uh, that I got oh I got about a year ago and I have loved it ever since. It is an awesome awesome grill. So as you can see here I got my cool grill. I'm gonna get this out of here. I store it in here because it out of the weather I'm gonna put it on 350 let that get started there so I'm actually gonna grill right now I'm gonna grill some chicken Ooh, I can already smell the smoke Okay, let's break for some mama and baby fun time. <laughs> Are you playing with mommy, buddy? Oh my goodness, wow. Okay, 
Back to preparing the chicken for the grill. I'm just going to pat dry this little guy. Excess moisture off of him. I like crispy skin, so that's why I use the stand. I'm gonna cook it at 350 for a couple hours. Okay, so with two hours to cook, we've got some time on our hands. So I figured, hey, I've got a gimbal, I've got a camera, I've got a full wheeler, and I've got a baby. Let's take this all for a little bit of adventure. It doesn't matter how steady you may think your hand is. You are never going to replicate these shots with a camera with an APS-C size sensor without some type of gimbal. You're never going to get these shots. Take a look. So I got the big man now. We're back. See, I'm telling you guys, that is some unbelievable footage. I could not have done that in a million years just holding the camera uh, with my right or left hand. By the way, if you're wondering if Simeon was safe, I am very careful with my son. We were very close to the house, walking distance, and I was going actually relatively slow. And he just absolutely loves being outside, being on the four wheeler, doing the things that boys enjoy doing. So, no worries there. Okay, okay. Whee! What do you think, son? Yeah. We're waiting on the chicken to get finished in the grill. Anyway, beautiful evening, a little chilly. Not too bad though. And I'm still just mesmerized by this crane. This is awkward.
that's going to conclude this video today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that this video has helped you to make a decision if you've got a smaller camera and you're looking at buying the Crane M2. Uh, it would be a very solid decision, a solid purchase for you if you did. I don't think you'd be disappointed so long as your camera obviously fits the weight limits that this uh, gimbal has on it. There's nothing like taking your camera somewhere, videoing, bringing it back, putting it in your computer, looking at it and thinking that's unusable because of the camera shake and all of the, the fluttering and the shuttering and uh, just you understand my wife's going to be using this full time it's going to make our footage so much smoother and so much more watchable I guess is what you could say I guess is a term you could use for me well like I said earlier best technological purchase of the year 2019 so we're going to conclude thank you so much for clicking on the video and giving me your time till the next video god bless and take care